Hi, good day everyone. We are now in topics 11.3 and 11.4 of our basic calculus subject. We talk about how to compute the antiderivative of exponential and trigonometric functions. the competency at the end of this lesson you are expected to compute the general antiderivative of exponential and trigonometric functions in this lesson we will present the basic formula for integrating functions that yield exponential and logarithmic functions so the basic knowledge in finding the differentiation of exponential and logarithmic functions are very important so theorem 12 states that the antiderivative of e to the power of x dx is equal to e to the x plus c second the antiderivative of a to the power of x dx is equal to a to the x all over ln of a plus c here a is greater than zero with a which is not equal to one and lastly the antiderivative of x to the negative 1 dx is equal to the antiderivative of 1 over x dx which is the same as ln of x ln of the absolute value of x plus c okay so let us now proceed to answering the different examples Example number one, we are to find the, in, the integral or the antiderivative of e to the x plus 2 to the x dx. Okay, using the two theorem of 11.1 and 11.2, that we are going to separately find the integral or the antiderivative of e to the x dx plus the antiderivative of 2 to the x dx applying the theorem we have theorem 12 that if we are going to find the antiderivative of e to the x the answer is e to the x plus the antiderivative of 2 to the x using the second second of the theorem that it should be 2 to the x over ln of 2 then plus c so therefore one and half on final answer iba sa jundra number letter a Okay, for letter B, we're going to find the antiderivative of 3 to the x dx. Okay, using the second of the theorem. So, we have a 3 to the x over ln of 3 plus c or simple then letter C we have the antiderivative of 3 to the power of x plus 1 dx
So, since ang atong exponent kay binomial man, ato sa silang buwa, ganun. That is similar to 3 to the x times 3 to the 1 dx. Okay? So, that's why this would be similar to ang kani kay mo man ninyo mo ko coefficient so mo na mo gawas no 3 times the antiderivative of 3 to the x which is 3 to the x over ln of 3 plus c so that is why the final answer would be 3 3 to the x all over ln of 3 plus c okay and lastly letter d is the antiderivative of 2 over x dx this is similar to 2 antiderivative of 1 over x dx and we learn in the theorem that uh, the antiderivative of 1 over x is the same as ln of x ln of the absolute value of x di plus c so that's why the final answer would be 2 ln of the absolute value of x plus c okay next let's go to antiderivatives of trigonometric functions so we already know how to differentiate the trigonometric functions right as we learn that the process of finding the antiderivative of functions is the inverse of such process. So at this point, we will find the antiderivatives of the trigonometric functions. So for this, we are going to use the antiderivatives of trigonometric functions using theorem 13. So, manay itong sag-uha na puti man ano in order to find the different uh, antiderivatives of the different functions. So, first, we are going to determine the, the der antiderivatives of number 1 we have. A, the antiderivative of cosine x minus sine x dx. Okay? Using the theorem, we distributed the antiderivative sign. So, antiderivative of cosine x dx minus the antiderivative of sine x dx okay so finding the antiderivative of cosine x dx the other no cutting the second so we have sine x then minus the antiderivative of sine the antiderivative of sine is negative cosine so we have negative cosine x then plus c. So we need to simplify the negative of negative cosine x. So that's why our final answer would be sine x plus cosine x plus c. Okay? Letter B. Letter B is the antiderivative of cotangent, no, cotangent squared x d. 
dx. So let us recall that when we say cotangent squared x, that is similar to cosecant squared minus 1, right? Ah, cosecant squared x minus 1 dx, okay? So separating, we have the antiderivative of cosecant squared x minus the antiderivative of negative 1 dx plus day na okay negative banta diri okay so therefore to find the antiderivative of cosecant squared arana ah letter D, it should be negative cotangent x and the antiderivative of negative x dx. So, nakalearn ta last time, no? Nga, antiderivative sa x, no, antiderivative sa dx is x. So, kay negative 1 dx mana, so it should be negative x then plus c okay so wrong nang sa sa atong book ha nga answer kay medyang answer kay ang derivative sa cosecant squared is cotangent squared man but we learn nga it should be negative cotangent ha so, ang cosecant. So, antiderivative sa na, mo na diha. So, ang answer should be negative cotangent x minus x plus c. Okay? Please correct your notes. Nasa in yung module. Nga, the answer for letter B is not negative cotangent minus x plus c but it should be negative cotangent x minus x plus c okay next is letter C which is Uh, the antiderivative of tangent squared v dv. Okay. So, again, let's recall that ang tangent squared is similar to second squared second squared v minus 1. Okay, so therefore, we can separate second squared and negative 1, so it should be antiderivative of second squared v minus the antiderivative of derivative of v. So, getting the antiderivative of this one, the antiderivative of second squared is tangent. So, we have tangent v then the antiderivative of dv is simply v plus c so therefore the final answer is tangent v minus v plus c and lastly letter d we have to find the antiderivative of sine x over cosine squared x dx okay so since the denominator is cosine squared we can express it as the antiderivative of sine x over cosine x times cosine x 
dx which can be simplified to the antiderivative of sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine dx and that would be similar to subtoning sine over cosine that is tangent right tangent x and 1 over cosine is second x okay so getting the antiderivative of second tangent x second x this would be equal to second x then plus c okay so i think sajun ramana si jeno ang injur jong buhatan is apply all your knowledge injur na learn from the derivative para makuha ninyo ang saktong answer sa antiderivatives thank you for listening or watching i hope you learn something today para maka-answer maka mo sa atong assessment okay so padadyan ta sa last topic which is topic 12 thank you god bless